Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got some encouraging words to share with you today. This is Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Can you believe it? It's 1020 a.m. about that. Well, I don't know about you all, but all day yesterday I was like, I can't believe it's 2020 and we're still here. Was it were any of you bummed? I was. I wasn't very happy. I didn't have a happy new year. I'll just be honest. But I was blessed. The Lord, He kept me from being depressed about it. I wasn't happy about it, but I wasn't depressed, and there's a difference. You can be all bummed out to the point of just not wanting to live anymore. Like, golly, is anything we've heard true? Has God really spoken? Is he really coming soon? I don't think so. You know, and you can dwell on that and dwell on it. And dwell on it until you're to the point where you just don't want to do it anymore. One way or the other, you're ready to give up. But don't. Because our Lord is true. Uh, he's, I mean, he, what he says is true. Now, what people say that he said may be from him and some may not so this is why you need discernment and many things you could just put on the back shelf and wonder pray about ask the lord lord did this really come from you is this person really hearing from you Let's not be quick to jump on a bandwagon because he's saying something we love to hear. But remember, God's timing is not our timing. And anything could happen any day now. We don't know. So, buddy, buddy, seriously. What is he doing? All right, it got... Okay, what happened there? I didn't turn on any more lights. Come here now. Come here now. Come here now. Nobody knocked at our door. Come here now. Come here. Lay down by Mama. Come here and protect me. Come here. Come here. Come, come, lay down and be quiet. Good boy. That's my good boy. That's my good buddy. Now be quiet. Mommy's, mommy's talking to people. Now be quiet. Shh. Shh. Okay. So getting on with what I want to share. I don't normally share the whole entire letter from Dawn. Buddy, hush. Every single one of these is encouraging for us at this particular time. And I I know they're worth sharing. Now you can decide, oh, that didn't come from the Lord and not they're all good. There's not a word that I think is not or would not be from the Lord. Let's put it that way. And some of them could have been written out by the person and then they put a scripture to back it up because there's no signature either way what's the difference if you open up my daily bread let's say you still subscribe to my daily bread many people do it's usually a good scripture and a little writing about it nothing wrong with it usually i mean i i've never found anything in it that i wouldn't read so let it be like that, all right? Okay, the first one 
is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. She says, or yes, this is the Lord speaking. It is easy to get overwhelmed, but I know, but excuse me, but know that I am well able to bring you out of the feeling of being deluged or overcome. I am your help in all kinds of trouble. Do not go down with negative emotions. Deliberately seek to be at peace and trust that I am with you. And let me tell you, this works. I have been doing this and I end up with a peace, that peace that passes all understanding that you can't explain. Anyway, the, the verse that she put with this is Psalm 46.1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And that is so true. It, she doesn't put what, what version. Okay. What ver version? Yeah, what version of the Bible that is. I don't know what version that one is. And I will skip this one. January 2nd, 2020. What are you believing me for in the coming year? I know you are having a hard time deciding because you are wondering if it is my will. Now that that is like he's talking right to me, you know, debating on going ahead and moving or holding off to see if the quiet continues. That's what I'm doing. I'm waiting to see. And besides, I haven't even heard yet that I'm going to get the room. They got a lot of work to do on it. Anyway, moving on. The Lord says, do not get stuck. Okay, let me start over I, with this sentence. I know you are having a hard time deciding because you are wondering if it is my will. Do not get stymied by that. I will not give you something that the world oh. ignore with the message. See, I don't even know how to answer this phone. I gotta swipe. Swipe. Oh, see, and they hung up. I'm supposed to be able to reply. I'm busy right now, whatever. Anyway, it was an 800 number, probably a telemarketer. And I was just saying this morning, I'm just going to leave it on because nobody calls me anyway. Thank goodness telemarketers don't have my number. They're choosing to use text messaging. Ugh, it's so... Does anybody have one of these cheap, uh, oh, what kind is it? I have to turn it off. Sorry, this is interrupting. But if anybody could tell me, I'm, I'm fixing to call them anyway. I got to find out how to stop certain things. LGK40. That's what it is. LGK40. It's got to be powered by Android. The cheapest smartphone on the market. Anyway, I'm not paying much for it, so how can I complain, right? It should work, though. It sh I should be able to answer my phone. Okay, let me move on. I'm going to... Let's see. I know you are having a hard time deciding because you are wondering if it is my will. 
Do not get stymied by that. I will not give you something that is not good for you unless you absolutely insist it is what you want. So, you see, something you want to do might, you might go ahead and uh, even if you don't hear a yes from the Lord, go ahead and do it. But, um, he says, unless you absolutely insist it is what you want, but if you go ahead and do it, it may end up not being the best thing. But let me continue. He says, I always want the best for you. More than you want for yourself. Write it all down and let me sort it out. So he's saying to write down what you are believing me for in the coming year. The only word I can think of is the rapture. That's it. Other than that, I want peace and quiet. You write down what you want. And we'll all pray about it. Let's pray about it. Okay, the, the verse is from Habakkuk 2, verses 2 and 3. NASB. Then According the Lord. Wikipedia, Habakkuk 2 to 4 is well known in Christianity. Behold, his soul is puffed up, it is not upright within him. But the righteous shall live by his faith. The second half of this verse is quoted by some of the earliest Christian writers. What the world? I didn't call for you to talk to me. How can I help? Go away. How did that happen? I must have touched the microphone button where I can talk to it and ask it. Creepy. All right. So, as I said, Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3, NASB says, Then the Lord answered me and said, Record the vision and inscribe it on the tablets, inscribe it on tablets, that the one who reads it may run. For the vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastens toward the goal, and it will not fail. It will not fail. Though it tarries, wait for it, for it will certainly come. It will not delay. And this was put up by Bev Robinson. Isn't that something she found or was led to? This verse, for the vision is yet for the appointed time. You see, it says, though it tarries, wait for it. It will certainly come. It will not delay. How many people have had visions, dreams, messages? You can lump them all in the same category and call it prophecy of the rapture. Wait for it. It will come. It will not delay. So anybody giving you, uh, getting a word, a dream, a message, most likely a message, saying, I am delaying because I'm giving you more time to repent, that is not from the Lord. The Lord's not delaying. I know in my heart the script, the date for the rapture was set in stone before this world was created. Just be patient. Don't give up. And keep on keeping on. Alright, the next one says, Every day you have choices to make. Will you be thanking God? That you are alive? Will your thoughts be joyful because of what your Savior has done and is doing for you? Are your thoughts resentful about what he hasn't done? 
Boy, howdy, the Lord knows what a lot of us are thinking. I was, for a few minutes, mad, resentful. Is anybody hearing from you, Lord? I, I said that. I did, and I repented. Okay, do you have feelings you would rather not speak about? Regardless of the conditions you are experiencing, either smooth or rough, make it your choice to praise Him. Don't allow the ups and downs of the dick of life. Sorry, my glasses. I tried these. They're no better. I just got to go buy glasses. That's all there is to or maybe these are 3.0s. I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't. They said my cataracts were getting worse, but I don't. But they're not bad enough to take them off. So maybe I can't do anything about it. Let me stop interrupting myself. Regardless of the conditions you are experiencing, either smooth or rough, make it your choice to praise Him. Don't allow the ups and downs of life dictate your worship. Never stop praising and worshiping the Lord because you're disappointed and you feel like nobody's hearing from God. There's no rapture. That's got to be a lie. Somehow they changed that in the Bible. Don't go there. Don't go there. Okay, let's move on. The verse behind this or given to this or whatever. Psalm 63 verses 3 through 5. And this version is called TPT. It must be new. The something translation, I do not know. I will have to look that up if I care to look, know what it is. But it's the TPT version. For your tender mercies mean more to me than life itself. How I love and praise you, God. Daily, I will worship you passionately and with all my heart my arms will wave to you like banners of praise I overflow with praise when I come before you for the anointing of your presence satisfies me like nothing else you are such a rich banquet of pleasure to my soul and that is by Kevin Robinson or was put up by him he received the word and the scripture okay moving on this is the last one same date the decade of the mouth is here is it the year of declaring a thing and it coming to pass? I ask you, what are the decrees that will come from your mouth? Will you declare my blessings and accomplishments? Or will you declare defeat, sickness, and despair? There is a very simple pro process. There is a very simple process. Trust that I love you and want the best for you. And therefore, speak my words that come straight from my word. Speak my words that come straight from my word. 2 Corinthians 4.13 says in, in the NASB, But having the same spirit of belief, 
according to what is written. Here's a quote within a quote. I believed, therefore I spoke. Unquote. I don't know what's, I know what's going on. My neighbor's in the hospital and people keep coming to get things for her. How many times do you have to come and get things for somebody in the hospital? Anyway, she's in a rehab now somewhere else from here. Buddy, hush up. Hush! This is the last verse from the NASB. 2 Corinthians 4.13 but having the same spirit of belief, according to what is written, quote, I believed, therefore I spoke, unquote. We also believe, therefore we also speak, unquote. I mean, that was the end of the scripture. Jonas Bolin. Okay. These people are regular contributors. And I don't normally share, but maybe one that I find particularly useful. But I think that every one of these ought to help us have some encouragement. And find strength to continue on in our journey. We must stay on the straight and narrow path. We cannot let ourselves wander off into the world and start doing what we used to do or thinking maybe it's all right if I do this or that and I'll repent and get straightened up later it seems like we're just not going home anytime soon well you don't know that you, we don't know we don't know if he's coming on a special day a feast day a day someone has figured out a subtracting this day from that day and you come up with this number and it's like oh my gosh that number stands for uh, the rapture or whatever I mean how many times have you heard that so what if it's a regular day and it's not I mean I can't imagine the Lord coming back on a regular day but we don't know we don't know when the bride goes. It could be his, God's bride is the Israelites. And it could be that when he comes back at the end of the seven years to rescue and save Israel, that will be a day on a special day like tabernacles or whatever. I'm just saying, it could be we go any day. We're to live like he's coming any day anyway, right? You just can't take a day off from being a Christian. It's a lifestyle. Either you love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself and you live that way every day anyway or you're just trying to get out of here because your life sucks if I should dare say such a word that is how some people I think might be thinking might might so keep in mind Christianity is a lifestyle and let us stay on that pathway that takes us to our glorious heavenly shores, however they put it, heaven's golden shores, where we're going to go to be with Jesus. And what happens from there? is great. If he wants to train me to be a warrior, to come back, save my family, get them to repent, get all my friends to believe and whatever, great. I'm all for that too. And I can't wait because that'll, that will be so awesome and that would fulfill 
the time that Jesus said, Greater things than these shall you do. So we have a lot to look forward to, friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. Don't give up. Think every single day, maybe this is the day. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. So you keep on with that spiritual warfare because the devil is not going to give up trying to get us to get off the narrow path and get on the wide one that everybody else besides the few are following. Too many things distracting people and we've got to try to not be. All right. I pray that the Lord will not let me get distracted with the world to the point where I get off the straight and narrow. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all your devices and over my computer. And... With that, I'll say, I pray you have a beautiful, blessed day or night, and I will talk to you later. All right. Bye for now.